God throws all of his vision. So if your vision is from God, he has provided the proof. Every generation is responsible for its own purpose and must fulfill its reason for being in this season. Don't sacrifice your vision for a dream. I'm going to say it again. Don't sacrifice your vision for a dream. Preoccupation with the past is irresponsibility. Some years ago, I mean, uh, some months ago, rather, I was right here on this campus, praise God. We were, we were celebrating Black History Week. So the Bill Owens and others were sponsoring this, and Brother Blake and, and, and I mean, Brother Otis and all those guys were here, praise God. And one of the things that concerned me as I travel around the United States during Black History Week, I heard everyone talking about the dream. The dream. The dream. And after a while, I got angry. I said, shut up! Stop it! Dream of a people that sleep. Someone said, keep the dream alive. I said, no, uh -uh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let's wake up and make it a vision. Martin Luther King did his part and he's dead. Yeah. Now history looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? I mean, history ain't respect what happened. History saying what you gonna do in your generation now. Stop dreaming and wake up. Preoccupation with the past is irresponsibility. And I say this final word to you, Brother Carlton, to all the ministers here of the gospel, and those of you guys raising up. Purpose protects you from intimidation. When a man knows why he's living, nobody's opinions affect him. You hear me good? If you know your purpose in life, you'll never be intimidated by nobody. No one can frighten a man who knows why he's living. Insecurity comes from a lack of purpose. And anybody who knows why they're living, they'll never be affected by other people's criticism. Purpose protects you from intimidation. My recommendation to this conference is very strong. Rediscover your purpose. Give this nation a national purpose. America was great because it had communism to be unified. Now that's gone. <laughs> there are no more purposes to give the nation meaning. Bush was so excited about the war because it gave the nation a brief temporary purpose. But now it's gone. And the word of God says, where there is no vision, the people... Now the word perish in the Hebrew means to throw off constraint or lose discipline. That means violence and crime and disrespect and all this stuff's going to start increasing when the people have no purpose. You think you see crime. This nation better get a vision from God, a fresh vision from God. And the only person who has a vision is those who have the law of God. So in this hour, God is demanding the church to rediscover its purpose, clarify its vision, bring its goals into focus, and infiltrate the nation with it. Because your obedience is salvation to this country. Close your Bible. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. What are you going to do now? Just hold your neighbor's hands a minute. Many of life's failures are men who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. The greatest thing in life is not so much 
where you are, but in what direction you're headed. Failure is not the worst thing in the world. The very worst thing is not to try. The only time you cannot afford to fail is the last time you try. I want the old men in here to pick your dreams back up and adopt some sons. Stop having a self-pity party about your old age. God never intended for you to retire your responsibility.